Hello, it has been a long time since I've been here and I thought a great way to re-engage would be to share what has been going on these last weeks for me. And as some of you may know, my husband Chris and I recently moved to Zug, Switzerland, which is a small town about 20 miles from Zurich. And before we moved here, we moved about New York where my stepkids and, uh, and their partners and our new grandson live, um, did some business work for my husband moving about and spent some time in the Chicago area uh, with my family and then made our way back to Zug. And I share this uh, for a few reasons. One is uh, since I was last here with you guys, we slept in a total of nine different places, nine different places with all of our uh, life, luggage, uh, traveling with us from place to place. So it was a lot of moving around. And um, one of the things I thought it might be useful to highlight as we re-engage today is that even though we were moving about and staying in different places, it didn't occur as difficult or challenging for me to care for my body, care for my health, and eat in a manner that has me feel my best, look my best, and be my best. And I don't share that to brag or anything like that. I share that because I w thought it would be useful to illuminate two things. First of all, I didn't arrive at this place of being able to move about the world um, in changing environments and situations and be able to live aligned with my intention for my health and vitality overnight. This was not an overnight endeavor. I really drew a line in the sand for my health and vitality in 2004. So it's, you know, not too far off of two decades in the making of this journey. And so, you know, one thing I want you to know is, yes, absolutely, you can master your health and vitality and you can cultivate the ability to live aligned with your intention for your health and vitality, regardless of the changing environment. But the key word there is cultivate. It's not a whole 30 that will get you there, I promise. Whole 30s, etc. I appreciate people learn some very useful um, information about their body through doing such a thing. But more often than not, it's an all or nothing endeavor. And all or nothing is for the birds. It's part of the broken paradigm you were born into in one of the biggest limiting factors between where you are and where you're committed to being. So, you know, if you're committed to mastering your weight, I invite you to be gentle with yourself and really get, just like everything else in life, mastery will not happen overnight. And if you're wholeheartedly committed and you get clear on what you want your health and vitality for, and I call this your vision of vitality, right? When I work with anyone, we are crafting your vision of vitality as a foundation for our work together. And with that North Star, we move ahead and gear you up with the information, reliable inspiration, not momentary, and duplicate, duplicable strategies so that as you live your life, you are able to elevate your experience and the outcomes. You were able to live aligned with your vision of vitality. And the punchline of that is that, yeah, you master your weight, great. But everything that happens along the way, the journey is really the beautiful gold. Have a great day.